Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I am trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so first things first, a lot of my subscribers are probably used to me talking about hair care, talking about how we can boost thinning hair, how we can boost our sort of thin hair or problematic hair or whatever you want to call it. If you're experiencing hair loss, then probably you want to do something about it. Today, I want to try and tackle that from a different perspective. And that is, of course, what goes on inside our bodies. So I always say that hair is the inner expression of good health. Now, I don't mean that something drastic is going on, and God forbid it, that anything is. And of course, always please do remember that if you are noticing problems of your hair, and you're seeing rapid hair fall, you're seeing a lot of excessive shedding, or one thing or another like that, then your first point of call is always to speak to a medical professional, such as a, a pharmacist, or of course, the best place, your family doctor. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about gut health, so looking after your stomach. Now, I can actually talk about this because I've had problems with it myself, and it is a difficult issue to manage if you haven't spent the time looking into it, or if you haven't had problems, you might not necessarily appreciate actually how important that our stomach actually is for overall health. I mean, just the simplest of things, if your stomach is out of balance or you've got some problems going on, then it can affect your skin, it can affect your hair, it can affect everything. How, if you've not got too much energy or if you're feeling quite tired all the time, it can be all stemming from your gut health. So what's the things what you may be looking out for if you may have a problem with your stomach? So for example, if you've got an upset stomach, if you have a lot of cramping in your stomach, if you have indigestion, if you have reflux. Well, I had all of these issues, but however, I never really looked at my stomach health because I eat a wide, varied, rich diet. I love fruits and vegetables. I love all the healthy things you can think of, love salads, all of those type of things. I do indulge in the odd luxury, absolutely. And in terms of alcohol, one of my favorite things is wine. Um, I like the odd glass of wine with dinner, one thing or another, really, really great. And I always say everything in this, moder in this life, moderation. But however, for me, I was having more problems uh, than you'd probably think was quite normal. So going back a little bit, a few years ago, I had a stomach ulcer, and that all stemmed from a medication I was taking from for my hearing and balance condition. So I kind of thought something's, and since all of that, it's always left me with some reflux. But however, this was more reflux than what I was, I was used to. I was having a lot of indigestion, a lot of stomach problems, a lot of stomach upsets, one thing or another, and just very out of character. So first of all, I took the time to spend some time with several different appointments. I even had the camera down my throat. Um, and I had some esophagitis, I believe that is, so some irritation of the esophagus um, with the reflux, but thankfully everything was okay. It was a very traumatic time of my life. Um, but yeah, it was thought to be all okay. But however, all my start problems kept on happening. Um, and of course, around the same time, I was having problems with my hair. This all went away for a while and my hair was back to how I really, really liked it to be. And then last year, um, I'd say about May time, it was a whole host of different things were going on where I had the loss of my nan, which was causing me real, my whole life turned upside down. She was my absolute world and I love her so very much and that caused me so many, many issues and it still does now, but I'm starting to really build myself up in a way to manage these feelings. In the, in, in the mix of all of that as well, had some health problems going on, medications one thing or another, stress, always thought that it could be this going on which was causing my hair to thin. I lost quite a lot of hair. With different products it's coming back. Of course, that's for a different conversation. Today we're talking about what goes on in the body. I went and seen a, almost you could say like a herbal specialist. Um, the doctor had said to me that I needed to make sure that I took time to relax, time to, uh, to uh, process things, and that um, they were very honest that this could take years, not necessarily months. Um, they put me in touch with some talking therapies, and they said that I had to be kind to my body. They didn't really talk too much about foods and one thing or another. And I always find that in the diet, for me, diet, even if I eat lots of vegetables and things, sometimes I can have more stomach related cramps and problems with more of the vegetables and things which I eat. So it's knowing what to eat and what not to eat and what works best for you, which of course is the scenario for all of us. However, in terms of gut health, I actually seen, uh, I know it's a specialist, but I don't necessarily know the name of it. Um, and I had a chat with this particular person and I said all the problems which I was having. Um, and they were very quick to think, okay, 
do you eat fermented foods? And I thought, you know, question, fermented foods, like, what do you mean? So sauerkraut, whole foods such as barley, uh, grains, uh, rye, uh, live yogurt, um, miso is another one, I believe. Um, my brother's a chef, so he would know all these fermented foods in one thing or another, um, sort of yeasts, that sort of thing. Um, so all of these things, which, to be quite honest with you, I don't really have in my diet at all. Once in a blue moon, I will eat yogurt, live yogurt, um, and sometimes I like that with honey, but as sort of as a daily thing, no, I don't. I eat dark green vegetables and things, so for iron and your rich uh, B vitamins and one thing or another. So I thought that actually I had this real, real healthy diet, that everything was fine. But however, it was very quick and apparent to me that my problems could quite possibly stem from my gut health. So I went away and I thought to myself, OK, this is going to be really hard for me to see uh, a benefit for that straight off. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd ask the question, well, is there anything I can take? Is there anything I can supplement my uh, diet? Because he actually thought that because of my, my gut health wasn't necessarily as healthy as it could be, my stomach's ability to be able to absorb those n rich nutrients and minerals and everything which was needed for my skin and my hair, because at the time I was losing lots and lots of hair, then actually all those rich things which I needed for my body, because of course hair is a class as a non-essential uh, part of the, the, uh, the system in the body, so anything of course left over goes to the hair, so therefore it's not recognised as essential, so it's the last in the list essentially to get all of these rich things from the foods we eat, particularly even if we have a really good strong diet. If we don't, then of course it's even more difficult to get these right things to the right places. I often noticed as well that my skin was really flaring up and I was having sort of real dry skin, really whatever sensitive products I used, it just was not cutting it to be quite honest with you, it just wasn't getting there. And it kind of came back that I was having more sort of stomach upset, stomach cramps, real sort of really bad reflux and I mean bottles of gas gone and I was still having the issues and I'd been back and forth with the doctor. I'd taken courses of tablets for sort of stomach ulcers and one thing or another, and yeah, that was all looked after and fine, but I still, again, had the problems there. So it was very quick to me that I had to do something. So I started taking this product here, which is a ProBio 7. So this is uh, a friendly stomach bacteria, so seven live strains, actual uh, added natural fibres, and suitable for use if you haven't have to take antibiotics, and it's a daily support for your gut, and it's vegan and vegetarian friendly, I believe. Yes, I believe. Please don't quote me on that, that is wrong, because I'm, I'm not uh, vegan or vegetarian, but I do know that starting something like this was, uh, first of all, I kind of thought to myself, well, is that really going to make too much of a difference? And you know what? I can't say all the time it does, but I can say that when I do take them for a couple of days, the irritability in my stomach seems to subside. It seems to go away. I do notice, however, when I have a time where I don't eat the things which you would think would really exacerbate um, problems such as with your stomach. So, for example, I like uh, sort of like fizzy waters and one thing or another like that. Bread is a really, really major one for me. It really seems to give me a bloated feeling, a really uncomfortable kind of irritability in my stomach. And if I start eating things like live yogurts and things like that, um, and when I say things like that, I mean by concentrating on with the, the really low sugar content in them. So all the kind of, you could say the nice things, the strong flavorings and things like that out of it, and just eating like plain live yogurt and things like that. If I say to my mum that I'm not feeling particularly great or anything like that, that's one of the first things she always suggests. And sort of like the older remedies, like um, boiled water for sterilising your stomach, which was my, my nan, bless her heart, she would always swear by that, like looking after your stomach's health. Um, that real kind of stripping it right back to the natural things. So again, whole foods, um, sort of uh, sort of like plain uh, cooked vegetables with nothing kind of with them and those type of things. And just really kind of starting to work on your stomach's health, making it quite pure and kind of um, just stripping it all back. So taking a break from the things which perhaps we indulge on in life, even if it only be every now and again, sometimes stripping that out. Um, and you know what, then it really does make a difference. Now I noticed that two times in my life when I'd done this, that actually my skin straight away improved. I can't sit here and categorically say that it helped my hair. But I did notice that everything started to feel a bit better. And of course, when you feel better about yourself and you're looking after your diet, you're looking after your stomach, 
then I'm hoping that your stomach's ability improves little by little to be able to help you absorb all those great things from what you're eating or perhaps what you're taking and supplements and things so you can improve your hair's health. So it's really, really important that actually when we're going through problems such as hair full, hair thinning, that we stop and yes, okay, you can spend absolutely pounds on products and special serums and miracle cures apparently for hair thinning in, in, in one thing or another. Fantastic. A product range I suggest is Neoxin, not represented it or affiliated by them. Love Neoxin, never used to, but really love that for the outside of my hair. Um, L'Oreal Professional, uh, Cerioxal, another great serum there as well. There's a whole host of different shampoos and things on my channel I really, really like. But usually the natural things. Hey ho, we've come in a full circuit. So the natural things, something like which contains rosemary oil in there. Again, something like caffeine. Um, again, really, really helpful to that. Uh, menthol, natural oils, that type of thing. So why not reverse that and start looking at natural things? Again, our hair, I do truly believe, is the inner expression of good health. And if your hair isn't quite right, then perhaps we need to evaluate what's going on inside our stomach. So, for example, things like uh, just taking a reevaluation of what you actually put into your system. So perhaps if you enjoy, um, I don't know, sort of like um, so processed foods, or if, for example, you're in a really busy schedule, you work long shifts, and perhaps you eat a little bit of possibly more than what you should of processed foods, or perhaps you like to indulge in the odd extra glass of wine or extra glass of something uh, in a weekday, perhaps sort of spacing things out, perhaps only at the weekends, stripping back processed foods, fizzy drinks, if you like, um, sort of like takeaways, one thing or another like that, you know, the processed foods, the high salt content, the high fat content, even though you may feel as though it's not a problem, I didn't, and okay, I didn't eat that, but the occasional things, sort of like the fizzy drink, the um, sort of if you're eating one thing or another, which isn't great for you, for one of the things which I noticed that if I cut bread out, my stomach really, really changed how I even felt, um, so things like that, I have to admit, some things like, um, I mean, even even some aged cheeses, which have live cultures in, can be really protective, really, really helpful to your stomach. So um, good friendly bacteria. So, you know, like the little drinks which you can buy for that. Um, and if you are finding it difficult, then a supplement like this, again, just to try. So again, talking about my experience, I absolutely really, really enjoy. Um, oh, God, I can't think what it's called now. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't think what it's called now. But I really like going out for uh, dinner in restaurants and things like that. So for me, one thing which I wasn't really noticing or paying attention to was sort of like with uh, pasta dishes and things which I was choosing with creamy sauces and one thing and another. Until I really started to evaluate my diet. Yes, OK, I had lots of rich vegetables and things, which I do in salads. One of my favourite is always like Caesar salads. And here at home, we always have lots of vegetables and, and fruits and one thing and another. Um, love water, also love fizzy water. But however, I found that fizzy water really started to play my stomach up. Bread was, again, another thing for me. Love pasta, but yet pasta seemed to really, really play my system up for me. Um, one of my favourite dishes is carbonara with like a creamy rich sauce. My mum makes absolutely amazing dishes like that as well. I love all things like that, which you could possibly say, oh yeah, okay, they don't sound unhealthy, but there are certain things in there which doesn't necessarily agree with your stomach's health. And then, for example, the days when we do have sort of like the whole foods, like the vegetables, the real sort of classic dishes, which my mum makes, like from my nan and one thing and another, um, then I notice a complete change in my stomach's health. If I have a few days where, for example, I haven't had a fizzy drink, I notice that my stomach feels a little bit more comfortable. I don't get the reflux as bad. If you're enjoying like a glass of wine or something like that, do you know what? I absolutely really, really used to enjoy brandy, really used to enjoy brandy. But however, if I don't have that for a couple of weeks, for example, then it seems to get almost a little bit better as well. And then stop the bread, look after my stomach a little bit more, live yogurt, one thing or another, um, adding sort of things which are looking after more of your stomach's health. So like the whole foods, rye bread, absolutely love rye bread. I know it's quite hard to swallow, quite hard to digest one thing or another. So really looking after your stomach's health. There is one thing which is really, really good, sauerkraut. I don't particularly like sauerkraut, but concentrating on fermented good bacteria food. So what happens now? So to keep me sort of in uh, a good rhythm of that, what my mum does, bless her, I live in the family home and um, I have an office area where I work. I work in finance from home. And every morning, um, 
the fermented uh, sort of drinks, you know, the live cultivated uh, yogurt drinks, which you can buy. My mum puts one of those beside me all the time. And you know what? <laughs> Every now and again we don't have them, but when we have them, my mum does that as a reminder. And when I do have it, my stomach, okay, not all the time does it feel a lot better, but you know what? On the whole, it improves. So ultimately, what I'm trying to say here is, yes, I thought I had a really good diet. I thought that eating all the vegetables under the sun, salads, one thing or another, was really, really great. But do you know what? Actually, it's eating the right things, knowing what works for you. For example, vegetables. I love vegetables and I would always suggest eating a very colourful range of fruits, vegetables, because of course that's ultimately good for our health. But however, one of the main vegetables which really gives me stomach cramps, do you know, is cauliflower. One of those ve <laughs> vegetables which I, I really enjoy, because of course you can do it with so many different things with my, my uh, brother being a chef and I love to cook and I love doing all different dishes and my nan was incredible at cooking and food and my mum is. So food's very big in our family. Um, I have to admit, I very much enjoy cooking food and, and, and preparing food for family rather than eating it. But you know, one of those things, again, another thing, cucumber, gives me severe indigestion. Um, what's another thing? So we've said about the cauliflower. Um, what's another thing? There is a couple more. There is a, a couple more. So things like avocado, really, really good for you. Certain nuts, of course, really, really good for your, uh, your, your bacterial uh, flora in your stomach. Um, so concentrating on those things. So some aged cheeses with the light cultures, um, live yogurt, of course, which we've discussed as well, sauerkraut, um, miso. I'm just trying to think of other ones off the top of my head. So foods which have gone through that fermentation process, you could say. So kefir, I believe as well, you know, like um, they call it kefir grain, don't they? You can, you can buy some sort of milk product from that as well in the supermarket. Um, so things like that are really good for your bacterial sort of microbium flora in your gut so and of course good bacteria helps us keep bugs away keeps us have good health um all sorts of things that can help us have healthier skin and of course in turn helps our stomach's ability to be able to absorb those rich nutrients and ingredients in our body for us to enjoy healthy scalp healthy hair um and of course if you're trying to grow thicker full of hair and you are suffering with thinning hair or one thing another going on or stress in your life of course those things affect our stomach as well then look after your gut's health, look after your stomach's health. At the end of the day, what do you have to lose? If you're concerned about your hair, if you're concerned with your skin or something else is going on in your life, and you're thinking, do you know what, my stomach is just ruling my life instead of you, which was exactly where I was, have a look at your diet, have a look at your gut health. And you know what, if that is a little bit too much for you because we are in a cost of living crisis as well in this world at the moment. This, I think I paid around about 10 pounds for this. And this in here is, I buy these every now and again, 40 capsules, it says two a day, but you know what? Once two a day, ideally with breakfast, I sometimes take, and you can add this to a drink if you wanted to open the capsule, you can add it to a drink. Um, here are the ones I've been taking in here. I don't know if you can see actually now. So in here. You can add them, you can open them up, put them on cereals, that type of thing. And that's really, really good too. But just to add that, it may work for you. You never ever know. I'm just talking from personal experience. It was something which comes to mind just by the stomach problems which I've recently been going through as well. And if I get back on top of this, I sort of cut out the caffeinated drinks as well. I love cold iced coffee, but my goodness, after a good couple of months of starting a job and drinking strong coffee several times throughout the day, again, I suffer with bladder related problems as well. Um, yeah, that sometimes improves, sometimes it doesn't, but the reflux, wow, cutting out that really did help that as well. And sometimes the irritability in my stomach too. So ultimately, looking after our gut health can do more than just having a comfortable stomach. And of course, visits to the bathroom. It's not just that. It's all about helping our body and helping our, our gut's health, that absorption of rich ingredients, vitamins, minerals, all throughout our body and all those great things which we've been talking about. Okay, thank you very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. Um, it is a bit of a personal experience. I have had these issues at all, um, which we're talking about. It's something which I go through on a regular basis. I suffer with reflux problems. I have um, stomach upset issues very often, unfortunately, through different medications and one thing and another. Um, bloating, sort of eating very small amounts for me, unfortunately. Diet and appetite is a huge thing for me as well. Um, so it's all things I'm working on. So if it is something which you can relate to, please do leave me a comment down below. If you have a question, please do answer it and I will do my utmost best to get back to you. God bless, take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.